بهذا الفيديو for my reference I will um, I think it's كتير السلايدات كم I think they are like 41 um, so they look so I'm just gonna like um, section them into different videos for my reference يعني uh, so first of all we have the types of web attacks and web attacks can either depend on the key or depend on uh, communication so if it depends on the key it either recovers the web key or doesn't recover the web key so a web is a uh, i think wired equivalent uh, it's uh, some uh, like wired equivalent protocol maybe uh, let's search Okay, wired equivalent privacy. Tamam, it's it's a security algorithm for 802.11 wireless networks. This is the IEEE standard for uh, I don't know. Anyways, um, <clears throat> so it's used for Wi-Fi. Okay, and uh, if it depends on communication, it's either static. So there's no communication with the access point or it's dynamic. So it involves communicating with the access point. So there are some general steps for making an attack. Um, the first one is setting up uh, equipment, a laptop with network card and يعني مثلا, installing the Kali Linux. I think you need the Kali Linux. Uh, because the doctor said we need to install the Kali Linux because it contains all the all the ethical hacking uh, things already everything you need موجود. and you need to set your Kali Linux to be able to actually see the access point and to connect to it because otherwise it can't like in a normal in, in, in initial case so this is the difficult part and then we have to find the target um, using air dump air dumping and this is like a command and uh, then we have to capture data from air uh, using the air morning and this probably uh, stands for the monitor so it's the monitoring mood and the air dumping wait or uh, make the target network busy using the air playing because you have to capture data so you either wait for it to capture or uh, uh, induce the data to be يعني, uh, sent and then we start cracking from the captured data by air cracking because uh, um, uh, يعني they collect data and they collect the IVs and from these they, they can find out the key okay because uh, the, the, the web uh, uses a key stream and uh, this key stream uh, the initialization لا, Okay, the key stream, I think it's not changed. There's no session key. So this is why uh, we can find correlations within data because if, if they're using the same uh, initialization vector, then we're going to have the same key stream and then we're going we're gonna to find some correlations using statistics. And if uh, it's the initialization vector is changing, uh, we can actually wait for it to uh, have a collision because um, it has a very small space. It's just 24 bits. So uh, 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 the web uh, relies, security of the web relies on the difficulty of discovering the secret key through brute force attack. 
uh, for this, يعني, this is the first technique of attack. Either you use brute force or dictionary attack. Dictionary attack is the same as the brute force, so you go through all the possible uh, uh, values, but it's, it's, it uses a smaller search space. So if you have a smaller search space, it can take less time. And uh, it uses uh, more likely um, keys that have been used before. And it, uh, it requires less than a month to brute force. And all you need is two web encrypted packets, only two packets. And then try to decrypt it using the captured initialization vector and a potential key. <coughs> Sorry, guys. So I think the initialization vector is known. Uh, is is known. Either either it doesn't change, or يعني صراحة I'm not sure. We'll see about this later. And then we have to verify the decrypted ICV, and ICV means the integrated check value. which is the CRC of the message and the CRC is a function if you apply it to the message then you will get the initialization che checking vector in value or something it's for integrity integrity check value or something uh, And this one is a cyclic redundancy check, you can. Uh, then we have another technique, and this is the brute force, and then this is the FMS attack. So it's static, and it tries to recover the key, the same as this one. And uh, it, it exploits the weakness of the RC4, uh, uh, I think it's a stream cipher. Uh, because the RC4 has invariance weakness, uh, so it has uh, so many weak keys, uh, and uh, weak keys means that it's not totally random key. The IV weakness is that the uh, initialization vector attacker can rederive the secret part by analyzing the initial word. Okay, uh, the FMS discovered several forms of the three byte initialization vector yield, a predicted result uh, of 5% of the time and almost perfectly random at other times. Um, uh, so, in, in a few the initialization vectors, uh, Uh, yield a predicted result of 5% okay it's like weak and they can reveal the first unknown byte of the secret key so if we know the first byte of the secret key uh, then we can just uh, uh, take the second byte and make it the first byte uh, make it as the first byte they heck The process would then be repeated for additional unknown byte of the secret key until the entire secret key is revealed. So uh, it requires 9 million packets. Uh, so Elifo, it only requires two encrypted packets, I think. Well, Utani it requires 9 million, 9 million packets, but يعني, this is only for one or two hours, يعني, not that much. And then we have the Coric attack, which is also static with key recovery. Uh, it's based on the FMS, so it's like an improvement of the FMS. So the FMS found some correlation. Uh, the Coric attack found even more correlation, like 16 more correlations um, between the first few bytes of the RC4 key, key stream, and the next key byte. 
so they reduce the number of packets needed to 700,000, so there must be a zero here, to succeed with probability greater or equal to 50%. Uh, the correct chop chop attack, Bardo, it's same as correct, but it's also improved. Does not, يعني هادي, they try to recover the key, okay? But this one, the chop chop, does not recover the key. It just reveals the message. Just reveals the message, okay? So how does it do that? It exploits the ICV vulnerability. So the ICV is the integrated check value and uh, the process of truncation uh, or cutting of packets while keeping them still valid. I think packets uh, will steps in our she home best be one packet. Then we have to last byte and try to guess one value for the plain text. Okay. Then uh, they correct the checksum and send packet to the access point. So they keep doing this. If a guess is correct, the access point will reply. Repeat until all bytes are decrypted. Okay, so... So I guess the meaning here is that every byte is uh, a value in the plain text. So they will the last byte and they a guess for the value of the plain text. بعدين بيصحح الشكسم اللي هو ال ااا الشكسم اللي هو ال ICV and send packet to the access point. بضلوا هيك يعملوا لحد ما يلاقوا كل البايتس اللي هي كل ال values. Okay, so the PTW attack. Is uh, um, uh, they found a multi byte correlation between the first L bytes of an RC4 key, the generated key stream, and the next I bytes of the key. Yani, if they know the first byte of the key, they can know the second bytes of the key. And if they know the, yani, hala, sarandhum at name bytes. If they know these two bytes, they can find the next four bytes. So, hala and them four bytes. If they know these four bytes, they can find the next eight and then the next sixteen. So, so what they do is first they captures packets and recovers their key streams, and they recover the key streams by using. Um, the CORIC and FMS uh, techniques because the CORIC and the FMS what they do? they analyze the captured data and then they find uh, they, they find the uh, they find the key stream they evaluate the multi-byte correlation function which is called the CLIMB Then they create a decision tree for key and start voting. So it requires 35 to 40 K of packets and only takes 60 seconds to crack. Sorry, I'm not sure what the meaning is. Yani. Oh, sorry, that's my channel. Uh, 
اوكي سو هادي الستبس اوف ذا ويب كراك اكزامبل هدول التكنيكس بس ذا ستبس initial steps هو أول شيء we need to gather lots of initialization vectors ومن ال initialization vectors من ال initialization vectors we crack the key We crack the key. وعشان نعمل traffic نعمل injection هذه زي data. It's kind of like تعمل نعمل injection للsystem زي injection of data بيعمل speed up the process بيخلي بعد data أكتر. It involves having an access point. Resend selected packets over and over rapidly. This allows to capture a large number of IVs in a short period of time. Well, web key can be determined using the previous techniques. We have that. The PTW, chop chop, correct attack, FMS, our brute force. أوكي فأول شيء منبلش ال wireless interface in monitor mode on the specific access point channel then we test the injection capability of the wireless device to the access point then we use the air playing to do a fake authentication with the access point then we start aero dumping on the access point channel with BSSID filter to collect the new unique initialization vectors start air playing in ARP request to replay mode to inject packets. In ARP request, uh, replay mode, ARP had a packet. Uh, So the doctor can say that the ARP. Okay, hey, hey. So the ARP is like a a packet that sends that requires the 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 receiver to always use the same IV. Okay. So. In this way, you can have many messages with the same IV, aka the same key stream, and in this way, you can find correlations. So they are called okay. So I'm not sure if it's an ish what they stand for, but But this is what they do, and then they run the air cracking to crack key stream using IVs collected. The steps are very easy, I mean. Okay.